Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. My name is Ashley, if you're new here, hi. And if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to take your older classic movies and watch them for the very first time. I'll start everything out with a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference. What the hell do I know? I put this up on a poll a couple weeks ago, and then I surprised everyone with a league of their own, and now we're here. If you have not seen the thumbnail or read the title for some odd reason, today is the 1986 Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I know. I feel like this movie is always referenced. I, I assume it's this movie. It's the guy for the eye drops that's like, Bueller. Bueller. I don't know why he's doing that. I'm assuming that Ferris Bueller is the main character. I don't know what he does on his day off. I assume the movie is about that. What does he need a day off from? I've looked up a lot of movie posters, so I'm just not gonna do that for this one. I'm just gonna go into it completely blind. I don't know who's in this. I just feel like this movie is referenced in a lot of sitcoms and just a lot of people in my life. I feel like people are always making references to this movie, so I'm really excited to be let in on some. That way, hopefully, I can start using them too. This might be the shortest preview review I've ever given. Let's stop diddle dallying and let's get right on into the 1986 Ferris Bueller's Day Off on this Millennial Movie Monday. Good lord, Paramount, that's retro as hell. Right now, 75 <gasps> at the late front. A John Hughes film! I haven't seen I haven't seen John Hughes in a while. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? For Christ's sake, look at him, honey. Is he dead? I want to go to a good college so I can have a fruitful life. Nerd. Bite the big one, Junior. Thank you, Jeannie. You get the school. <laughs> Wait, that's it. I want out of this family. Oh, that's that's traumatic. You're both very special people. I hated that angle. They bought it. Wasn't ready for the fourth wall to be broken, but alright. But how do you fake clammy hands? It's a little childish and stupid, but then so is high school. <laughs> True. Whatever, live your best life. I ain't mad at it. Adamson. Here. Adler. So that's the visine yeah. guy, the eye drops man. Bueller. Oh, so this is, Bueller. it was literally taking attendance, okay. My best friend, sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from this guy who knows this kid is going with the girl who's- And that's a trusted source. What is this person and how are they living like this? That if you stuck a lump of coal up his ass, in two weeks you'd have a diamond. Sounds like an easy way to make some money, in my opinion. He has missed an unacceptable number of school You got days. dandruff? Oh! In the opinion of this- How many pencils you got in there, girl? Usually is. So far this semester- That old ass computer is so funny. I asked for a car, I got a computer. Making the most of a bad situation. Yeah, girl. Let's get a little midday high. Never had one lesson. Couldn't even tell. Couldn't even tell. The Holly Smoot Tariff Act, which... What an awful voice to have for teaching history. Like, that class is already awful. Did it work? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone know the effects? No, it didn't work. It did not work. That Anyone? was my face most Anyone of high school, honestly. And college. Every day, honestly. What are you sorry for? I have to live with a trouser snake. No, I mean... Trouser snake! <laughs> did you see Alien? When that uh, creature was in that guy's stomach? Yeah. Do I sound like I'm kidding? <laughs> Ferris is classy. Clever. I mean clever. <laughs> is it serious? Does it sound serious? Think you'll be alive this weekend? No. Yeah, I'd say. Well. Oh. Well, with your bad knee, Ed, you shouldn't throw anybody. <laughs> also, she looks really familiar, too. The sportos, the motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, wasteoids. Dweebies, dickheads. I love Grace. I want to be Grace when I grow up. You sounded like Dirty Harry just then. Really? I don't know who Dirty Harry is. Graduate. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for you. 
The fact that you can make that detail of an art in Microsoft Paint, I am thoroughly impressed. Make yourself some soup. Mm. Get a nap. Okay? Okay. Soup is always a good idea. Sick soup. Sad soup. He'll keep calling me until I come home. He'll make me feel guilty. Cameron, get you a new friend. In. This man kind of looks like George Jones. May I interrupt, please? Look at the fringe on that jacket. Your grandmother has just passed. Oh no! Dead grandmother? Is she lying? I do see her with Ferris Bueller quite a little bit. Her grandma you did. Would you get me Mr. Peterson's daytime number? You still want his daytime number? <laughs> I don't think he needs it anymore, Grace. Thank you, though. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? Oh, no. Tell you what, dipshit. You don't like my- Oh, no. I thought it was Ferris. What you gonna do now, Ed? So wait, did her grandma for real die? Because that's very sad. Well, I think you should be sorry, for Christ's sake. That's so funny. He's so snazzy in his little suit. Uh, just a, a little uh, office could you, difficulty, sir. Rooney, I don't know. Do you not have like an intercom system that you could just call her? Where's your brain? Why'd you kick Where's me? Where's your brain? Why'd you kick me? Where's your brain? <laughs> you make me come over here. You make me make a phony phone call to Edward Ro I mean, he didn't really make you do anything if you would just stand up for yourself. Oh, I was like, why is he stopping and going? But he's walking in front of, uh... Doors. Okay. The 1961 Ferrari 250G. Oh, they're getting a car. I didn't know where they were. Ooh. That's cute. So Ferris is 100% going to ruin that car. It is a piece of shit. Where's your car at then, Ferris? We'll drive home backwards. Not how that works. Was that license plate? Did that license plate say nervous? I had a grandmother once. She is also dead. I want to thank you for your warmth and compassion. Save the dramatics. Not in front of the principal. Oh, no. So that's how it is in their family. Oh, I don't even like the joke. That's so gross. So Ferris ain't only going to get himself in trouble. He's going to get everybody in trouble. This is a full-on music montage of the city. That's it. Look at that plaid hat. What the hell kind of hat is that? See, we're collecting money to buy Ferris Bueller a new kidney. And they run um, also, how much money did Pepsi pay for this product placement? Now he's got Sloan Peterson involved in this thing. Her grandmother, too. <laughs> you pinhead. Back to you as soon as is humanly possible. That is so funny. This is very elaborate. I love that. I'm going to catch this kid, and I'm going to put one hell of a dent in his future. Grace is really into bad boy Ed. Cameron, what's going to happen to it? It's in the garage. Don't trust people. I don't trust that guy one bit. There's nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. So it sounds like you got plenty to worry about. I feel so bad for Cameron for having such a selfish friend. There it goes. There it goes. What I tell you, there they went. Oh no, I just realized that that was his mom going home to check on him. Ah, I see now. This is very home alone. What are those men wearing on their heads? What kind of hats are those? Come on, everybody. Cameron. Cameron doesn't want to. I hate the way Ferris treats Cameron. Yeah, I don't know who this makes sense to, but I guess it makes sense to somebody. And it ain't me. He loves the car. He hates his wife. It'd be like that sometimes. How y'all do that? I do not know how to do that. I am Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Sausage King? Tell me more. Huh. I've had enough of this horsing around. Give me the phone back. You touch me, I yell red. Oh, so he called the phone, okay, to get him to go away. Okay, Ferris, can we just let it go, please? Go to McDonald's, call it a day. It's understanding that makes it possible for people like us to tolerate a person like yourself. Oh, damn. Oh, I hate that. I hate it. After all, I got a car. He got a computer. <laughs> Fair trade. Why should he get to do whatever he wants when- It's the younger sibling. It's always like that. I used to think that my family was the only one that had- I figured out why she looks familiar. She reminds me of the Nancy character from Stranger Things. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. Um, it ain't there anymore. It's not in the garage. Oh, 
That is his dad. That is his father. At the same place he is at currently. That is not the case. We don't have the money. We don't have the money. Just go what? down the sidewalk. Like, leave the sidewalk. Like, leave the area. Nice. Wow! An added bonus! They flip up. That's fun. Not Ferris, but she is beautiful. Why don't you go back to principal and why gotta be on Gallivant? If they are at this ball game. Oh my god, save Ferris. Oh lord. His hair is so flawless. What are you gonna do? Break in? Was it? Oh, and it's on a loop. Oh, I can take a nasty spill down the stairs and subject myself. Are you bet to get got today. This is just so home alone. No. <laughs> That's an awful mud sound effect. <laughs> oh, honey, you ripped your pants. <laughs> they are having the best time. The dog door. Again, it's so home alone. Oh, they got a big puppy. They got a scary puppy. Um, an art montage? I like to try to make the same stances as like mannequins in the store. Aw, that's sweet. That's cute. You okay, Cameron? You okay, buddy? This is a schnitzel parade? Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. <laughs> Suck it, Ferris. Oh no. What was that? Was that like a lucky rabbit's foot? At this point, I would not worry about your shoe. You're such a wonderful crowd. We'd like to play a little tune That's him. You. That's him. Oh, see, this is how you get caught. This is how you get, this is how you get got. Get it, girl. Mm. And now we have a little music montage. Yo, Cameron's got a long ass neck. Get it, construction man. Ah! You know what? This scene had to be so much fun to film, even for the extras. Is it necessary to do the whole song, or? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow, this has gotten real bad. You know it's bad if it's painted on the water tower. Was the front door unlocked this whole time? She wasted no time opening it. Wow, how do your floors not cr creak at all? That's impressive, honestly. Oh, there it was. Oh, and he's getting a parking ticket. Man's having a rough day. Besides, anybody who would nail me wouldn't go to a parade. My mother would. My mother would. I'm in danger, okay? <laughs> I am very cute. I am very alone, and I'm very protective of my body. <laughs> I do not want it. His car's getting towed. Principal's having a bad day. I'd also like to add that I have my father's gun and a scorching case of herpes. Oh my god, duh. I know that was a deterrent, but did you have to be that graphic? Are you okay? Can't Cameron is not okay. Bless the police. I'm saved. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you. I mean, here's the hope, and it's the police. I came to help restore your pluck, because I'm the nurse who likes to... Oh my god. Damn. Cameron is going through it. Are you eating Oreos with a Pepsi in a pool? Wow, this dude can really hold his breath. I am impressed. Ah! 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 Pull down your pant leg. Is too that much. Charlie Sheen? My sister wears too much. People think she's a whore. Oh my God. Let people live. What do you care if your brother ditches school? That's a good question. You want to spend a little more time dealing with yourself. A little less time worrying about what your brother True. Does. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, that whole time I was just thinking things over. Putting your car in reverse doesn't work like that. Change out of my clothes by the jacuzzi. Ooh, he saw his best friend's girlfriend, Nike. Have to crack open the odometer, roll it back by hand. Oh, what could go wrong with that plan? Affect me, unfold to determine the course of my life. I'm gonna take a Hell stand. Hell yeah, Cameron. Hell yeah, my dude. <laughs> 
Maybe don't kick the- Oh god, no, oh. We all deal with our trauma in different ways. Hell with him. I mean, you still live under his roof though, so be careful. Oh, no. Well, you gonna really have to stand up for yourself now. I'll take the heat for it. We'll wait yeah. for your father to come home and when he- All of it is your fault, yeah. Came to you with a story about an intruder. Oh, she's getting close to Mr. Drug Man on the couch. Thank you so much. Oh, they big kissing back there in front of your mama and the police officers. <laughs> well, they're never going to see each other again. Y'all been kissing all day. Why are you waiting now? I'll call you tonight. Why? You've been together all day. He's going to marry me. Probably not. Don't get your hopes up, girl. Ah! Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? You trying to kill him? Ferris doesn't need a car. Oh my god. She had a chance to rat on him. Oh, she's trying to beat him home. That's why she didn't tell. His dad really stays not paying. Ah, paying attention. At least he's not going to have to fake a fever. He's going to be like worn out from all this running. A little drunk driving in the afternoon. Oh, no, she's just old as hell. Maybe you should stop running beside that car. Go through the doggy door. Oh, <gasps> the principal's still there. Did y'all hear my stomach growl? Why is she looking out for him all of a sudden? It's amazing what making out with a dangerous fella can do. He's still awfully warm. How do you feel? Yeah, he ran a long time. Is he for real not gonna get caught? I'm going to get myself settled and I'll bring you a hot cup of soup. Hell yeah, I love soup. Is it over? Hold on, was that really Charlie Sheen in the- <gasps> It was, boy in the police station. Charlie Sheen, I'm proud of me for knowing that. You're still here? Yeah. Go home. Well, stop showing me stuff to look at. Well, now we talk about it. Okay, okay. Okay, you know what? We haven't had one of these in a while. I was due for this feeling. This movie gave me feelings of Home Alone and The Breakfast Club. Now, this came out in 86. Home Alone came out in 90. And this also reminded me of The Breakfast Club, which came out in 85. I mean, this did come before Home Alone. The only reason why I am equating it to Home Alone is because I watched that during Jingle Beans. So, I have that in my brain. I guess it's a good thing that I'm not lactose intolerant because the amount of 80s cheese in this movie is just unbearable. This is along the lines, for me, personally, I'm sure this was a big hit when it came out. All the quotes and why it's still referenced. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. Bet the same people who love this movie are the same people who love The Breakfast Club. And I happen to not be in either of those camps. This got redundant, kind of boring to me after the first 45 minutes. I haven't had a movie that I just really didn't enjoy in a long time. And with it being a classic, go ahead, drop the roast insults down below in the comments, it's fine. But like, this is along the vibes of like, The Breakfast Club for me. I did enjoy how much like, I felt like I was a character in the movie because he kept breaking the fourth wall and really talked to me like I was there. That was a fun aspect of this movie. I can't relate to skipping school. I never did. And just like the art montage was forever long. The float song moment was forever long. There were several montages in there that if they were taken out, I bet the movie only would have been like an hour and 15 minutes long. It's like they were just buying time to have something to create. I don't know, I didn't enjoy it. I am proud of myself for recognizing a young Charlie Sheen. I'm gonna give this movie three out of five stars. There were a lot of funny things some likable characters. Grace, the secretary, probably my favorite character out of this whole film. I wish we would have had a Cameron update. I hope he's okay. I'm glad I, I'm glad I watched it. Like, I can mark it off of my, my poster back here. Would I watch it again? No. Would I recommend it to a friend? No. But now, I get the references, and it's another conversation point, and it's another movie added to my bucket list. Hey, Beans, welcome back. Three out of five stars for me. I don't see the hype in the movie. I just don't see the hype. But hey, that's me. 
you're you, and opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has one. All right, well, like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTube-iverse. I reckon I'll see you right back here for Friday's film, which is another Millennial Movie member request. So I'll see you right here. I hope you have a wonderful week. Beans, what are you doing? You digging around in the blanket? You just getting comfy? You making your bed?